Epstein put his hands on her and tried to push her away. Streaming left the office without the laptop. Indiana State Police investigated the incident and arrested Streaming Tuesday night at the Bicknell Town Hall without incident. He was taken to the Knox County Jail and released after posting bond. And a man who confessed to killing his girlfriend in Martinsville, in Illinois, now knows his trial date. Connor Scott in court this morning. He is charged with two counts of first-degree murder in the shooting death of Kaylin Whitaker. She was found dead in Scott's home back in October of 2014. Now, at first, her death ruled a suicide, but then declared a homicide about 10 months later. In February, Scott walked into the Danville, Indiana Police Department and confessed to her death. Scott's trial now set for May 14th. Well, Indiana State Police say that they've received more than a thousand tips since releasing an expanded audio clip and a new sketch of a suspect in a double murder in Delphi. Investigators held a news conference on Monday. Police said they now believe the killer is local and has ties to the Delphi area. He's accused of killing Libby German and Abby Williams in February of 2017 while the pair walked on a nature nature trail. Oviego well, County Commissioners approved the installation of trail cams around the county. This is an effort to catch people who litter or dump large quantities of trash illegally. More than $2,500 was approved to buy 20 cameras. The cams will be placed in rural areas and in places where the highway department has seen litter. Pictures of those caught on these cameras are going to be sent to the sheriff's department to see if charges can be filed. We have to send the county highway guys out to clean it up because uh, they're dumping it on roadways and that pulls away from resources that's much needed right now, particularly when it comes to fixing potholes and patching roads and making the roads safe. So uh, we thought, you know, let's be proactive. Let's get trail cameras set out, set them up covertly with hopes of catching one or two people that are doing the dumping. And those cameras already being set up at locations around Vigo County. Kern says if any private property owner notices lots of litter and would like a trail cam, they should contact Vigo County commissioners. This Friday, the community invited to a special tribute for U.S. Senator Birch Bayh. You might remember that he passed away back in March. The Vigo County native authored two amendments to the U.S. Constitution. He is also known as the father of Title IX, which banned discrimination against women in college admissions and sports. Birch Bay has a number of friends, colleagues that still live in Terre Haute and Vigo County and as a hometown hero it seems only appropriate that we recognize his life. And the tribute to Senator Birch Bay going to take place again this Friday at 5:30 at the VFW there at Veterans Plaza. It is free and open to the public. An E. coli outbreak has spread to 10 states, including Indiana and Illinois. Federal officials say more than 150 people have gotten sick already. The illness linked to tainted ground beef eaten at homes and in restaurants. 20 of the victims had to be hospitalized. No deaths, though, reported. The states affected by the outbreak, Florida, Georgia, again, Indiana and Illinois, Kentucky, Minnesota, Mississippi, Ohio, Tennessee, and Virginia. Here's the really scary part, though. No supplier, distributor, or brand of beef has been identified just yet. Well, buy online, return in store. Not an easy process for Amazon purchases until now. Kohl's brought Amazon into a small number of its stores about two years ago. The department store announced starting in July, though, it will accept returns from Amazon customers at all of its stores. Shoppers just need to take their returns to Kohl's customer service desks. The store will package and ship the items back to Amazon. You don't even need a shipping box. For Amazon, the partnership provides convenient locations for customers to drop off their returns. This morning, Dixie B students learned about summertime safety from staff at Regional Hospital. More than 100 first graders arrived for the field trip. Aren't they cute? It was an interactive learning experience. Learning stations were set up. They covered topics like germs on your hands, bicycle safety, and stranger danger. The students were even given caps and medical gowns, as you can see to wear. They also got to check out an ambulance. Just exposure to the trauma center itself and the hospital itself to the kids to get to learn what actually goes on inside the hospital and different things that they can learn from it. And Regional will be hosting a similar injury prevention event at this year's 4-H Fair. Well,